How does endothelial function in the coronary arteries correlate with endothelial function in other parts of the body, such as the arms or fingers? Most people think of major arteries, such as the aorta, femoral, carotid, and brachial arteries as the predominant parts of the vascular system. But in reality, these major arteries are a very minor part of our body's vessels. If our entire vasculature were lined up end to end, it would measure approximately 60,000 miles, and the major arteries would measure less than one mile, only a tiny fraction. The remaining 99.9% are micro-sized vessels that are barely visible. For example, this area represents approximately 5,000 miles of vasculature. Small changes in these micro-arteries, such as slight constriction or dilation, can result in significant changes in blood flow. In fact, blood pressure is predominantly controlled by these small arteries, arterioles. The reactivity of these microvessels is an important indicator of body's vascular health. All these vessels are paved with endothelial cells. These endothelial cells are the most important cells in our cardiovascular system. Endothelial cells throughout the entire vascular bed have the same genetic, morphological, and physiological properties. They are exposed to the same blood and circulating chemicals including risk factors, as well as protective or therapeutic factors, such as medications. Although different local hemodynamic factors may affect endothelial cells differently, their fundamental functions remain the same. As shown in these two studies, the percentage of increase in the diameter of the epicardial coronary arteries, as well as the percentage of increase in the blood flow due to the microvascular coronary endothelial function, correlated well with those in the brachial arteries in the arm. These microvessels are the most important part of our cardiovascular system. However, their importance is not well recognized. They're all covered with endothelial cells, and the medications we give to patients, particularly medications for high blood pressures or heart failure, is primarily affecting these cells, the endothelial cells and the microvessels. In summary, the health of our body and our cardiovascular health is primarily depending on the health of our endothelial cells and our microvasculature.